for those that protect our social security. She's not going to go. She's also going to raise your taxes big league, folks, and we're going to lower your taxes. Minor, minor thing, but just remember. WikiLeaks also shows something I've been warning every, everybody, everybody about for a long time. The media is simply an extension of Hillary Clinton's campaign. It's just one more way that the system is rigged. A big way, really a big way. Reporters who work for these outlets like the Washington Post or the New York Times may think of themselves as journalists, but they're actually just cogs in a corporate political machine. The dishonesty of the New York Times is unbelievable. The dishonesty of the Washington Post is unbelievable. The dishonesty of all of those cameras, so many of them, not all of them, is unbelievable. The emails show the New York Times, the Boston Globe, Univision, a third-rate reporter named John Harwood. What a third-rate reporter that one is. And remember he did the debate and made a total fool of himself? He's of CNBC, all doing favors for the Clinton. And reporters smothering the Clintons with praise. Why? Why? You saw Hillary on the debate stage. You think? You think that's fair to Bernie? No! I'm starting to, really, are we starting to feel sorry for Bernie Sanders? Like, a little bit, right? The media can't report on the establishment because the media largely is the establishment. And the corrupt media is teamed up against you, the American people. And I used to get great press until I said I'm running. Then they said, he's running, we don't want him to run. But I used to get great, who got better press than me? I got great press, a lot of press. My wife said the other day, you used to get such great press. Now every single story is a slave. And I'll tell you what, it's libelous, it's slanderous, it's horrible, and it's really unfair, but we're gonna beat the system. We're gonna beat the system. <laughs>